Hi, let's have a look at the different way in which unpolarized light can be produced. Consider unpolarized light. Consider a dielectric and light going at a certain angle to it. Part of the beam will be refracted and part will be reflected. Incident light is unpolarized, so it comes polarized in all possible directions. We can decompose any polarization direction as parallel and perpendicular to the plane of the interface. I'll represent with a dot light polarized polarite parallel to the interface. Because it is transverse to the plane, I will call this one TE, transverse electric. I will also represent with an arrow light polarized perpendicular to the interface. Because the magnetic field is perpendicular to the electric field, this means that the magnetic field will be transverse now. I will call TM, transverse magnetic, to this polarization. Remember that polarization is the direction of oscillation of the electric field. And this electric field has an effect on electrical charges of the medium. Also, let's keep in mind that the electromagnetic waves are transverse waves so that they oscillate perpendicular to the direction of motion. Now, let's look at the interface at the point where the incident beam of light hits. In hitting the medium, the electric field of the EM waves makes oscillate the electrons of the medium. These electrons also create an oscillating electric field that will interact with that of light. For the TE polarization parallel to the plane of the interface, electrons are free to oscillate and that polarization will propagate in the refracted and in the reflected beams. For the TM, the electrons will oscillate in that direction and will propagate that polarization to the refracted beam. But that direction of oscillation will be partly in the direction of propagation of the reflected beam. But because the electromagnetic wave oscillates perpendicular to the direction of propagation, only the perpendicular component of that oscillation will be able to oscillate in the reflected beam of light. This means that the reflected light will be partially polarized in the TE direction. When reflected and refracted beams are at 90 degrees, the TEM oscillation will be in the direction of propagation of the reflected light, so that reflected light will be totally polarized in the TE direction. To this angle we call it the Broister angle. If you place your eye here, you will see light linearly polarized and you, will, you can check it with a dichroic polarizer, for example. We use this concept in our Polaroid sunglasses as they filter light from the sun that is reflected from the asphalt, for example. In order to maximize the amount of light polarizing the TE direction, you can create a material out of different layers so that transmitted light is reflected consecutively and you recover all of the light that was originally polarized in the TE direction. This way, you obtain half of the original irradiance. We can calculate this Broister's angle by using just a little bit of trigonometry and also Stein's law.
Play Science Bay with you.